Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play King's Bounty The Dark Side. In the previous episode we have tested uh, how it would uh, look like if we played as a pure mage and uh, well it's kind of fun and really good for upgrading items and, uh, and in general just fighting against gremlins but also it showed me that um, for just normal progression through the game at this stage we just don't have enough spell damage. Uh, I checked our inventory of Chimera bit and I found one item that can help us a bit with that. That's uh, Snake Rain because if we upgrade it we'll get second Ring of the Snake King which is this one and that'll give us plus five intellect which is a huge boost and we can replace the painting that just doesn't give us anything, you know. I don't think that our spies, where they count as human traitors. Known enemy. Can we compare it? Can we compare it to something that we know is a human traitor? I'm not sure if it's in the description or not. No. Might be. I really don't think that spies are human traitors. I mean, human traitors uh, are probably only the units that have uh, their uh, good counterpart, like Heresy Iris, for example, Inquisitors, their counterpart. So, uh, we shouldn't be getting any bonuses for our spies from uh, the painting. If that was the extra initiative, that would be quite important. Or we can maybe see it? Let's see initiative. Yeah, you can see it. That we are not getting any bonuses to initiative, so that answers uh, uh, this question. The painting is useless right now, so instead we can get plus 5 intellect, which is just a massive boost. <clears throat> so that's what we're gonna start with. We are we'll upgrade the, the ring. Um, I, this is what I want. And after that, uh, we'll leave the shelter, head back to Arlon, and finally attack those obelisks there. And I hope that I was right that they are guiding by gremlins. First of all, the one more thing, uh, just to answer a comment about our rage that didn't go up properly. I think it did. We upgraded this lens so that increased our uh, maximum rage. But I also unequipped uh, the skull smasher. I replaced it with this white chill. Uh, so that reduced our rage by five. So I think in the end, one hundred is correct. I also made some other changes. Um, I think I replaced the ring and something else. So in the end I think 100 reg is correct. Uh, so that's that and yeah now we'll uh, now we will upgrade the ring. No, nope. this is what I want. I'll still of course keep that painting because uh, once we are done with all these uh, Gremlins. We'll switch back to the original army, and um, uh, for that, the initiative is important, so that we can apply the the magic shield from our wizards on our dragons. It's like one of the most important moves. Okay, uh, ring, 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 upgrade. Yes, please. And another thing, is it possible to cast uh, spells on our spies when they are in this girl form? We can uh, cast resurrection on them. What tier are they? They are or level. They are level two. So um, where is it? Here. Can we cast resurrection on them? We actually can. 
it seems. How expansive is Resurrection? 10 mana. That means we can cast Resurrection and then cast Armageddon. Wow. I really didn't expect this. I thought that they were immune to all magic in this form. But it seems that... How does it work actually? Enemy troops cannot see this unit and it's invulnerable. But it doesn't say that it's immune to magic. Okay. Maybe next time I should read the description properly. It's quite obvious from the description that can be affected by magic. And also that's the reason why in the previous episode one of the turrets was able to uh, transform them into sheep. Good. Uh, this means... Yep. Yeah, should be able to reduce our losses. A little bit. That didn't take long. Here is the ring. So now we are on 78th end. And um, that means it's not only. Uh, 25% extra damage from the plus 5 extra end, but also I managed to get over 77 intel, which means another 7 points, that's an additional 15% damage. So as I said, it's quite a significant boost. Can we actually see it somewhere? But and equip it. Let's just compare it on the flaming arrow, 24, 10. Twenty-six ninety. Here it's ninety-two to, to almost fourteen. Yeah, this is extra thousand damage uh, on one side and like fifteen hundred on the maximum damage. So pretty significant still not where we need to be. We'd have to get to like 20,000 I think, then I would try just normal fight. Uh, but enough talking. Now we should have everything we need. And we can teleport back to Aralan. I know that will be quite useful to grab some extra spies, but I just uh, can't. The reserve is full, uh, the garrison in the castle is full, so I'd have to go to another island and... Uh, I'm lazy. Hopefully 442 spies will be enough for everything that we want to do on Aralon. Go. And... where are they? the obelisks again. Also, now when we are testing the mage, I should probably check all the shops again. In case um, there are some caster items I forgot about or didn't notice before. Is there anything there? No. Okay, I really hope these are goblins, because if not, they might be in trouble uh, with strong range, strong fast range stacks. We could lose all the spies before we do anything, and yeah, that would be bad. Okay, 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 okay. Still... Oof. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, that was scary. Yeah, and I think we are screwed. Yep. 
because now of course we are not immune, right? So they all can see us. They can all attack us. And they can kill us. Um Well Let's try again. There seem to be a flaw in our tactics. Uh, by the way, can I just uh, load this? Uh, damn! That's annoying. Yeah, this is the problem with this build. If you don't get that first uh, move, uh, transform the spies on the first turn, then everything is just fucked up. As you have seen. How we can solve this? We can solve this very easily. Um, so I don't have to do it now. First of all, I need to upgrade the ring, so let's do this again. I really didn't expect that. It's those uh, brown gremlins. These guys, that's just direct damage. Don't really care. But uh, brown gremlins, they are using debuffs and uh, all these support spells. One of them is sheep. There were, I think, four of them. So that's where uh, is the problem. Okay. Hmm. Now. Create four stacks. They'll have to be exactly the same. It's just important that they can't uh, uh, sheep all of them. I mean, technically, it's possible that all of the gremlins would cast sheep and sheep all our stacks, but it's very unlikely. Um, we'll probably lose some of these stacks. It's just important that one of them stays alive, even if it's just one last spy that we can transform. Once that happens, we win. We'll probably have to go back to the shelter after every fight. Um, but okay. Mana, we have boat rings equipped. Let's try again. One, two, three. Two of these guys will okay, once they're gone. Now it's the red gremlin casting the sheep. I really thought it was these two guys. Look at that. Yeah, so with three stacks, probably still gonna be enough. This is pretty nasty. But now they are screwed. There's no point in resurrecting. So I'd resurrect them as spies, and in that form, they are not immune to magic. So with Armageddon, I'll kill this stack. But 
but this is still by far the easiest way how to win this fight. Look at that, look at these gremlins, 55,000 hit points each turret, or tower or how to, how to call this, and look at these massive stacks. If I use the normal army, I just get destroyed. What are they doing? Summoning more units. And again, those stacks are insane. Well, I'm not even sure that we have enough mana for this. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Resurrection. 176. Actually, that probably wasn't Resurrection, that was just a heal. Not sure. These guys shouldn't have Resurrection. Um, probably should save all the rage for... Uh, what's the name? Um, uh, Calm Rage. I should use it already. <clears throat> oh, this is insane. still need to destroy two more turns I think about using magic missiles on them to speed things up but uh, I'll just keep spamming Armageddon for now I'd like to see how much damage you've done after this fire it's probably not possible or maybe I can see it in the end uh, there should be details details of the fight. I'm really curious how to see how much damage we had to do to win this fight. Still summoning more and more units. It here, it's actually quite a lot of mana 16, 18, probably like over 20 mana from all the stacks that we killed. Finally, this is what we want. We want to have Armageddon here. Um, we need more mana. And we need more Armageddon. This should clear the map nicely. Good.
And we'll end this with flaming arrow. Oh, nice! We get a, a Mitrune as a part of the reward for this fight. That's useful. And also level 61, so if we get lucky, we might get another Mitrune. Come on. There we go. Uh, all magic has left the obelisk. Now it's nothing but the lifeless stone pillar. Yeah, two more to go, right? Yeah. But these fights are so much more difficult than anything else we have done so far. I really have no idea how I do this fight with a normal army. That would be a disaster. Okay. First, let's check. Um, three mana for dance of creatures with a total leadership of 25% of the hero's leadership. Six mana for you. Yeah, we definitely want to upgrade transmute. Maybe I'll even have to go for Winds of Magic, even though the Might, Might Runes requirements are ridiculous for this. Getting some of the mana back will make everything much easier. Won't have to worry about mana that much. What else can we get? That's three for the Order Magic, two for the Warlock, Strength of Curses and Blessings, but this. This is basically getting plus one, plus one intellect for two runes. Here it will be plus one intellect, plus one mana, and access to third level order magic, which is probably better than just investing into the warlock. And puppeteer, recruitment power, control plus 30% of leadership. Yeah, this only affects like mind control spells and summoning power. This is cheap, it's just one might rune, but I'm not sure if it's worth waiting for the winds of magic or rather go for first probably the order magic. Probably should have access to all levels of all magic schools as a as a, as a mage. But then, hmm. well, we'll see. First, I'll go for the other magic. Then we decide what we're gonna do in the winds of magic. Or maybe, uh, what would you guys do? Would you go for the winds of magic or not? Do you think this is worth it or not? I mean, it's definitely a good thing getting the mana bank. It's just, is five my runes worth this? For five my runes, we could maybe get even plus how much? Plus, if, if this just doesn't change the price on higher levels, then we could go th get three levels of Puppeteer. It's plus three int, and here it would be... No, actually, uh, this is three runes. So this is plus one int and two levels of Puppeteer. That would be plus three int. Is it worth it or not? Well, as I said, now I'll just keep playing. And... I'll also think about it off camera. Now we need to go back to the shelter. Good that we don't have to worry about rage with this strategy that we are using. Uh, we need more of these guys. Maybe this time I'll even split them into five stacks. Hopefully, there will always be one stack left alive. And back to Arlon. I don't know where the two remaining pillars are, so this may 
take a while until you find them. There's one. Okay, we have full mana, that's what we need. Four stacks. Yes, everything is faster. Yeah. Transform as many of them as possible before uh, I start spamming Armageddon, of course. How strong are these? 56,000. Again, it's ridiculous. And we'll just sacrifice the stack. There's no chance that he would survive the next turn anyway. How I would do this with the, like the normal strategy, and I don't know because the biggest problem would be the new stacks that uh, these gremlins are summoning. That, that these are massive these stacks, and they summon one every turn. We just get overwhelmed, and with fifty-six thousand hit points, there's no way that I would be able to kill these in time. And 130 leadership each, and those gremlins just summoned 364 of them. Previous fight, I didn't check how much damage we had to do. Damn. I'll try to remember and check it here, but this fight is easier. for coverage. I 
this stacks do we still have? One, two, three, four. I matter that much, but the animation is shorter. Now oh, it seems that for each uh, pillar, we'll just get one rune. So this time it's a magic rune, the last one will be spirit. Okay. But, oh, I almost forgot again. Details. Can we see? Damage inflicted total 700,000 damage. I think the previous one was over a million. So that's number two. We have to go back just to shelter again. And grab some more. Grab fifty. This should work. Okay, more or less. Let's go the other way. I'll pull it. Take too long to find the last pillar. I hope this is the end of the of the Ireland quest line. Because if not, then there is something even uh, more difficult than these fights. I'm not quite sure that we would be able to handle that. There's okay. There's a stag that is guarding it. Not sure that I want to do this. I think I'll just wait for them to go away, if it's possible. Can I just cheat? Hide them away. Um, well, that was close. Why can't we move? I just couldn't move there. This is why it's not ideal uh, for 
normal fights, I mean, by the strategy not idle for this fight. Because this is something we could easily do without losses with our normal army. Oh, okay. Also, with only four stacks, it's a lot more difficult to get rage, so it'll be more difficult to, to sustain mana. So it's not that amazing. Um, now it might be even better to just use single target spells. Be a bit more mana effective, but not really. Two stacks probably better to do it this way. Okay, so, as you can see, it's possible to do these normal fights this way, but pretty much after every fight, we'd get to we'd have to go back to the shelter and grab new units. Because even... Oh, that was a misclick, but whatever. Uh, even though we can resurrect uh, the, the spies, we won't be able to resurrect enough, nowhere near enough in every fight. I think we'll have to wait with the last obelix, obelix, uh, obelisk uh, in the next uh, to the next episode. This one is already too long. So once again, the mystery of our own island will have to wait a little bit longer. What is this unicorn grove? I really hope it's not, there's no fight there. You throw a stone at the spawn of fly. Unfortunately, it looks like some sort of magic barriers protecting the unicorn. You decide to leave, make a mental note to come back later, okay? There's another thing that I don't know how it works. But oh, whatever. Hmm. Let's teleport back to the shelter and I'll make a cut there. So yeah, uh, this episode is over. For the first time, we actually lost the fight. That was a very nasty surprise.
But at least now you see the weakness of this build. Uh, for some fights it's ideal. Upgrading items is just by far the best. But other than that, just too fragile. And I hate losing units, so that's, that's another problem. I have a feeling that there was something else I wanted to say, but it probably wasn't important. So, uh, this episode is over. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're gonna join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.